Convergent evolution. Convergent evolution occurs when a similar trait is formed independently in two or more different lineages. That is, the trait is not present in their common ancestor. The example that we will use is the evolution of canine teeth. The common ancestor of all mammals, that is the monotremes, the marsupials, and the placental mammals, lived about 180 million years ago, give or take, and may have looked something like this early placental mammal. Two branches of mammals, the marsupials and the placentals, have developed large cat-like predators. One obvious way for a predator to catch, hold, and kill their prey is by using dagger-like teeth. In the placental mammals, an extreme example is the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis. Note the highly elongated canine teeth in the upper jaw. A similar trait evolved independently in the marsupial predator, whose name I cannot pronounce. Primates, being mammals, also have canine teeth in both the upper and lower jaws. The size of these canines are quite different in different primate species. If we compare humans and gorillas, we see that the canines are quite prominent in gorillas, but they are barely noticeable in humans. You might even want to suggest a hypothesis as to why this might be. Some primates have evolved rather extravagant canines. Here is the skull of the patas monkey. Again, it might be interesting to speculate on what evolutionary processes might have been involved.